it's my lucky day because I've been randomly selected for the truth verification test. I'm getting polygraphed this afternoon. Kind of excited about it. I've never been polygraphed. Well, I have one time, but not seriously. This this is like an in-depth, serious polygraph. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. I'm kind of interested in how it works. I'm hoping I can bring you guys along for it. I don't know if they'll allow that or not, but I'm definitely going to try and bring the cameras along and uh, show you guys what it's like getting polygraphed. Well, here goes the moment of truth. We made it to the hotel where the truth verification test is. So let's see what we can do. Yeah. Here's the guy, huh? Oh boy, <laughs> putting me on the spot. You know you're in trouble when you got all this stuff here, right? <laughs> so you've taken a 10 minute polygraph? I have. So let me tell you why, Matt. <clears throat> that you're not gonna be taking a 10 minute polygraph. No, so how's this one work? Well. First and foremost, we do polygraph to, to a, a in industry st standards. You're, you're taking a law enforcement grade polygraph. Okay. One of the reasons why we can't, or we think we can't um, polygraph people in 10 minutes um, is because, um, well, the, the easiest way to put it for the layperson is this. It's a white lab coat effect. You go to the doctor's office, first time, you know, you, you go in, your blood pressure is elevated, you know, the nurse yeah, you're a little nervous, nervous or whatever, yeah. worked up. And so when you're all done with your appointment and they tell you you don't have cancer or, you know, it's not that big of a deal, whatever issue that you were in there for, they take your blood pressure again and, it, and it's right, you know, it's back down to normal. Okay. So any new experience such as, you know, polygraph, um, it's normal, natural to be nervous. Right. Um, you're going to have a little bit of apprehension, even if you have nothing to hide because Absolutely. it's a test. Right. You know, if Boyd Duckett said, hey, Matt, Matt Becker, yeah. hey, um, before you're allowed to collect your prize money, we got a spelling test for you. Yeah. <laughs> and even if the words were cat, rat, and bat, until <laughs> Boyd tells you you passed the test and you did okay. You're a little you're, nervous. You're a little nervous. Always. So I, I joke when, uh, I don't know how much these guys have told you, but... I'm a former uh, Portland, Maine uh, police detective. Okay. And I didn't keep track of it when I was a cop, but I've certainly kept track of it now that I'm on the private side. I've done probably 28 polygraphs and homicides in the last eight years. All right. 11 of those guys told me they weren't nervous. All 11 of those guys have pled guilty or been found guilty. <laughs> so if somebody says, we're not nervous, yeah. we're off to a bad start. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So we do a law enforcement grade polygraph um, with you. It's very similar to the polygraph that we do in Maine, polygraph that they do for the federal government for law enforcement applicant screening. Okay. It's a very well uh, researched um, testing format. Um, we're able to apply uh, a test data analysis method that allows me to tell uh, the management what's the chance that you're um, being truthful, what's the chance that you're uh, not being truthful. Right. Um, you got a okay. Polygraph is more sensitive to deception than it is to truth telling. Oh. Huh. Yeah. And the reason for that is you try to prove a negative. Right. How, I mean, what does it do? Reading your nerves or your breathing? Or... Well, <clears throat> let, me, let me just start off and give you my quick speech. Okay, let's hear it. <laughs> so we call polygraph a lie detector, but that's not an... That's not an accurate term. That's not scientific. That's that's a term of convenience because to say de detector means we're detecting lies. Mm -hmm. And there's no one thing that happens when Matt lies or Mark lies that doesn't happen at some other time for some other reason. So what is it that we're measuring? 
Well, to put it in layperson terms, we're measuring your level of arousal. And that's a combination of physiological tracings that we're getting from you. We're measuring your respiration from two spots on your body. We're measuring your electrical activity from uh, usually two spots on your palm, or it could be two spots on your fingers. We're measuring blood volume and pulse from one finger, and we're measuring your uh, heart rate and blood pressure from a blood pressure cuff. And then on top of that, um, you're seated on at least one activity sensor. If you're back in my home office, I've got sensors for your arms, sensors mm. for your feet, as well as the, you know, the, the, the butt pad. Yeah, the, the butt, whole seat. So everything seat. you're touching yeah. and those sensors on. And the reason oh. why we have all these activity sensors, uh, or at least one activity sensor, is because we know your blood pressure, your heart rate, those things can change if you're moving. They mm. change even when you're watching the ball game. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, excited you, or... Yeah, yeah, excited or shifting weight. If I asked you, I said, hey Matt, what's one plus one? Two. Two, easy, right? Two plus two. Four. Four, easy, right? But mm. four times seven divided by three <laughs> minus 19 divided by two on a Sunday afternoon. That's 27. It might be, I don't know. <laughs> if you got it, you're good. <laughs> no, I can't think that quick. Yeah, but let's say, when I'm, if I was measuring what your body's doing when I'm having you go one plus one, not going to be a whole lot of reaction. Nothing, yes. But all of a sudden, I make you really think about what the answer is. You're not lying, but I'm going to see significant changes in your level of arousal oh, sure. while you're trying to figure that. Um, um, all right, so let me pull this stuff. Go for it. And so you got anything on you that's going to ring, ding, or buzz? Uh, nope, other than the way. Okay, so I'm going to have you stand up in front of that chair, and while you were gone, I put a, a pad in the yeah. seat, so that's an activity sensor. You're going to grab the chain, you're going to bring it around your back, we're going to wrap this around you like a belt. Oh, uh, okay. okay. And this is supposed to be snug, but not so snug or tight that you can't take a breath, and it shouldn't pinch you, uh, it shouldn't cause you any discomfort. If it does, I want you to tell me, okay? Same thing. Same thing, but this is going to go on your chest. All right. And these two uh, sensors right here, they measure movement in your torso with regards to your respiration. Okay? So you're going to have a seat on the pad. And I'm just going to drop these down oh, over all right. here. All right? And how's it feel? Yeah. Not, not pinching you? Okay. No, not all right. I'm going to have you bring the chair forward, but try not to roll over any of my tubes or wires. Because why I want you forward is I want you, during the test, I'm going to want you... I'm wrecking the place. I'm going to want you to be able to have your arm resting up here comfortably. In fact, we'll do that right now just to... Like that? Yeah. Yep. So, I'm going to have you put this arm up like this. Mm. And so this blood pressure cuff is going to go on. And this is going to be the one thing that I put on you today that might cause you a little bit of... I don't want to say discomfort or pain, but it's going to feel a little odd. It's going to get tight. It's going to get tight. And when you go to the doctor's office, you know... They crank it up to about 220 milliliters of mercury. That's the measurement. I only get it up to about 65 milliliters of okay. mercury. Doctor's office, they're over. It, air comes out, minute, minute and a half, back down to normal. This thing stays inflated, you know, probably six to 10 minutes, maybe, maybe 12 minutes. So what happens is it reduces the circulation to your hand and you may feel your hand go a little pins and needles like you know when your foot yeah. falls asleep yeah, and okay. your hand may change colors that's normal <laughs> that's natural as soon as you sure <laughs> well for you special case okay now uh we haven't had to amputate anybody and most people have survived except for that one that's guy good. No, that's but right. uh it, so i'll be the first yeah there's a first for everything that's right but uh no so if you feel some uh, tangling uh, you see some color change. That's normal. It's natural. But look, just like I told you in the beginning, if I kick you in the shin, it, you know, does it? So if you're feeling like, hey, Mark, this is really bothering me, you tell me, and we'll we'll adjust, okay? Okay. Um, so so I'll tell you um, to tell me when you're ready to remain motionless, and you're like, okay, I'm ready. I'll make a couple little adjustments, and then I will tell you, remain as motionless as possible. The next portion of the test will start in 60 seconds. I get 60 seconds of data with you just doing nothing. Then when, once I'm satisfied with that data that it's stable, you'll hear me say the next portion of the test is about to begin. You don't need to acknowledge that, but what it is is a prep. Now every 25 seconds, I'm going to ask you the reviewed questions. You need to listen and answer as instructed. 
Okay. If you slip and say yes when you're supposed to say no, don't get flustered, let it go. I'm more trying to see what's going on in your brain than what's coming out of your mouth through your level of arousal, okay? okay? Uh, sometimes it works. If it doesn't, I'll just simply ask you the question again, okay? okay? If anything causes you any discomfort or pain, you need to tell me, all right? So, if it's something you can, like, ah, you know, this cup's a little, I can put up with it, then put up with it, okay? So we're gonna do the acquaintance test right now to make sure that you can produce stable data. I'm not done this all. Go for it. So that top blue line is that sensor that's across your chest measuring your respiration from your upper torso. The next one uh, is the one that's uh, respiration from your abdomen. This single black line is those two pads on your hand measuring electrical activity. Um, this red is the blood pressure cuff. This blue is um, the, the uh, blood volume and pulse from the one finger. And the squiggly black is um, the pad that you're seated on and it's it's so sensitive that it it measures inhalation and exhalation and even picks up a little bit of pulse uh, through your bottom each yellow column is where i'm talking followed by a single line with the word no uh, is where you're answering um, essentially i've got three questions up there the number one thing that i look for the 60 percent of our uh, scoring decision is for this single black line to start doing something generally in the yellow where I'm providing you uh, stimulus in the form of the question and hopefully at least uh, rate when you're answering. So as you go across here, which one, I'm going to say one, two, or three, which one is the one where you see the most activity, where that black line goes up the most and stays up the mm, Definitely three. Yeah. Yeah, I guess what question that is. Mm. The do you remember? Yeah, do you remember living in Pennsylvania? Now, who right. cares, right? I mean, it's not a big... Big deal, but you got memory of it, and so there's more activity uh, in this. And this would be like if I was doing an arson, like I told you. Yeah. This would be underneath the basement stairs. Okay. You know, this would be the living room. Yeah, this that would be, one has a little jump in yeah, it. Yeah, has a little jump in it because you could. Well, what? You probably swallowed a little bit when you were giving okay. your answer. Um, and I had other portions of the chart that uh, I didn't display early, um, but you had moved right in here's. You're starting to move a little bit more. So you, it's like when we move, we're, we're adjusting our it's yeah, blood, blood pressure. Training. So, um, but even mm. still the electrical activity. So I just pulled that out of the way just to kind of, yeah. you know, to make it a little clearer. Interesting, uh, but you can see that first. Yeah, thing, and I, I would, I would, you know, this is stable data. You're pretty calm. I don't see a whole lot in your respiration. I don't see a whole lot in your uh, uh, um, blood pressure or heart rate. Um, there's a little bit of delayed constriction in here um, with blood volume, but not a whole lot. I mean, not a whole lot. Where I, uh, it certainly starts right, right about when you're answering. And you see how it just kind of yeah, shrinks? shrinks a little bit. Well, in the old days, that we would describe that as fight or flight. That's when you know the the blood is pushed from your extremities into your larger muscle when you're trying to decide. Do I got to run away from the saber-toothed tiger? <laughs> or, you know, am I going to get my butt whooped by mom and dad when I bring in the bad report card? So, you guys probably didn't have paper report cards, right? We did. We had a little bit of it, yeah. yeah. But it's going away. All right. Well, bottom line is you can't lie to the man. Well, He's going to catch you. Can. You can. <laughs> I'm going to catch He's going to see it. A 9 out of 10 chance I'm going to catch you. <laughs> uh, but you can see uh, very clearly here when I ask you, do you currently reside... Uh, or live in uh, Pennsylvania, that yeah. just the fact that you have memory of it has caused you to have a Absolutely. significant, uh, noticeable reaction. So, perfect. Yep, well, here goes the real part of the test. <laughs> Wish me luck. You don't need any luck. <laughs> <laughs> well, the dang GoPro died and didn't get a chance to film the ending there, but we got out of there. We didn't get arrested, so that's a good thing. So, hopefully you guys learned something about taking a polygraph test um, it's it's pretty in-depth it's pretty crazy and uh, they know if you're lying keeps the game honest keeps everyone on an even playing field and I like it I'm a fan so appreciate you guys watching this video do me a favor hit that subscribe button leave me a likes and comments down below and we'll see you guys next time